Today is about you. I know what it feels like to sit on a bench. I know what it feels like to get knocked down. I know what it feels like to have a hope and a dream. And nobody believes in it but a few people. But here's what I know. Hi, this is Walter Bond, and welcome to Peak Performance Life. It is time to huddle up. In today's huddle, you know what I want to talk about? I want to talk about commit to excellence. Commit to excellence. As you guys know, we have 31 truths to boost peak performance, and I want you to understand that one of our truths is that a peak performer commits to excellence. But before we can talk about commit to excellence, let's break down the word commit to make sure you completely understand what it means to commit. When you commit to something, you give it your mind, your body, your soul, your emotions. When you are committed, you will innovate, you will create. In fact, when you are committed to something, you will devote time, but most importantly, you will devote money when you are committed. See, sometimes people take the word commit very, very lightly. When you are committed to something, you will always have actions, consistent actions that line up with your commitment. See, when you are commitment, you never tire, you never f fatigue. You fact, when you are committed, you never ever quit. When you are committed, you will actually recruit others to join you in your commitment and you will seek out others who are committed to exactly what you are committed to. Some people are so committed, they are willing to go to jail for what they believe in. And some people are so committed, they are willing to die. So there you are, a business owner. You have a fabulous vision and you might be stuck. But here's my rhetorical question. Are you committed to the vision? In fact, you've recruited other employees and you've sold them on the vision. But here's my rhetorical question. Are you committed to those employees that you sold your vision to? I mean, some of us are married. We have wives. We have husbands. But here's my question. Are you committed? In fact, when you are committed, you will always have actions that line up with that commitment. So when you commit to excellence, I want to ask you a question. Are you bringing your mind, your heart, your body, your soul, your time, and your money committing to excellence? I got a buddy of mine named Peter Cancrow. Some of you guys don't know that name, but you know his business. He is the founder and owner of Jersey Mike's. Peter Cancrow is a good friend of mine. Some people don't realize that he bought his first sub shop at 17 years old. Peter Cancrow had a full football scholarship to North Carolina to play for the Tar Heels, but he turned it down because he was committing to building a sub empire. Now that's what I call commit. When you are committed, you are willing to make sacrifices and walk away from other things that will distract you from your commitment. Peter Cancrow, the rest is history. He has been committed and focused on making brilliant sub sandwiches for decades. And you know what? He has 840 plus stores open and within the next year, he's gonna have a thousand stores internationally. How did he do it? Peter Cancrow is committed to excellence. So business people, entrepreneurs, professionals, I want you to understand what has your heart, what has your mind, what has your body, what has your soul, what has your time, what has captured your imagination. Whatever you are committed to, you're going to give those resources to. So are you committed to the right things? Some people are businessmen, they're entrepreneurs, but they're really committed to golf. Some people are married, but they're not committed to their spouse, they're committed to themselves. So I want you to understand, when you are committed to excellence, you are well on your way to becoming a peak performer. I wanted to teach you today what commitment is all about. I didn't make it to the NBA. My career changed when I became committed. I did not become an award-winning speaker until I became committed. Peter Cancrow would have been another sandwich maker until he became committed at 17 years old. Peak performance, I want you to understand that if you commit to excellence, it's a matter of time before you become a peak performer. And when I say commit, don't take it lightly. When I say commit, I mean commit to excellence.
When I hear the sound of that whistle, it takes me back in time when I learned how to become a peak performer. When I played college basketball, my coach would blow that whistle and he would call all my teammates in and in this huddle, he would motivate us, he would inspire us, he would teach us, he would correct us, and the reality is this, he called my name more in that huddle than anybody else's name. Here's why. He saw tremendous potential in me that was trapped and buried and he wouldn't let it die in me and he brought it out until I became an NBA player. In that huddle, I learned how to develop and become a peak performer. I learned two things. That peak performance is a process, but most importantly, peak performance is a team sport. I would not have reached my potential without my coach investing time and energy into my development. So here's what we've done for you. We created what we call Peak Performance Huddle. In this huddle, we want to do the same exact thing. We want to motivate you, we want to inspire you, we want to teach you, we want to even make you laugh. But the bottom line, every ounce of potential on the inside of you, I'm coming to get it and I'm not going to stop until we pull it out. In this huddle, we're going to have webinars, we're going to have success tools, we're going to have interviews with successful people. We're also going to do phone calls, live phone calls where you can hear my voice live, ask me questions, because in this huddle, the number one job, my my number one job is to help you reach your potential. We have two choices. You can do the automated coaching program, which is very cost effective. It can be available to you 24-7, 365. Or another option, you can do a huddle that's one-on-one -on -one with me. That's right, me and you, one-on-one, -on -one, and we're not going to stop until you reach your potential. Your job. Your only job is to make it to the huddle. If you make it to the huddle, we'll do the rest. Sign up and register and get to the huddle and Walter Bond will be there waiting on you and we're gonna help you reach that potential that's inside of you.